Hey everyone, it's Brian and Jeff with WorkshopAddict.com and today we're going to take a look at Yardmax's Powered Track Barrel. This is model number YD8103 and this thing is a wheelbarrow on steroids. For those of you that use wheelbarrows on a daily basis, whether it be on a farm, on a job site, what have you, I think this is a definite game changer. You're going to go home at night feeling not wore out from running a wheelbarrow all day. That's right, this is a back saver. And this thing is kind of a niche tool. I mean, you're gonna use this to get into tight places, go around fences, maybe get into horse stalls. The uses for it are endless, but it's for something where you can't get a skid steer in or something like that. So what we're gonna go through is basically our use with this, some quick specs, what we thought about it in our experience. Let's start out with some quick specs. The hopper has a 660 pound payload. It comes with a CR950 Briggs and Stratton motor, which is 9.5 foot pounds of torque at 2600 RPM. It also has a three speed transmission with reverse and the transmission uh, is not synchronized. You have to shift the transmission while you're stopped. There's straight cut gears. So out of the box, you might notice that it's a little bit harder or finicky to shift, but it shifts a lot better after some use and while it's running. Basic operations for starting the motor, you have two kill switches, one up on the handle next to the throttle, and one located on the motor. It does have a gasoline shutoff and a choke, which makes it very easy to start, usually between one and two pulls. This is probably one of the best engines that we've been around for idling. It's very quiet and has no issue idling for a long period of time. Now, when you use it, basically just select a gear and you have a PTO lever on your left hand side. You depress that and the unit will start moving. You can control your speed via the thumb throttle that's on the right hand side and you can steer with the brakes on the right or left hand side. It's very simple to run. It takes a little bit to get used to and the brakes also will wear in a little bit. In the beginning, you might pull the brakes and the track will lock up immediately, but over some time, you'll be able to feather that brake and really drive this very easily. Operation of the hopper is very simple. You simply push down on the lock lever and lift up on the handle. The design of it is so that you can easily dump a large load of stone without an issue. Basically, this track barrow is going to be able to go anywhere you want it to as long as you can walk behind it. Its only limitation is it does have a low oil shutoff. And you're really only going to find that that's going to affect you in very extreme situations where you're going in places that might be hard to walk. Exactly. You know, your extreme angles. Were... Now we've been beating the crap out of this thing and we really think that this thing is bulletproof. I mean, we put it through some stuff that we're not going to put on video and we've put a lot of stone in here. We beat it up. The powder coating is held up great. It sat outside. It's been drugged through six inches of water when we got a huge storm. Mm -hmm. This thing has just been an absolute monster. And like you said, every time, first or second pull, it's running and it idles like a dream. So like in our case, if you're carrying stone uphill or if you're on a job site that is completely rutted up, this thing is gonna be a back saver and you're gonna love it. Stop by workshopaddict.com. We have a blog on this that has a little bit more of specifics on the low oil shutoff and some different uses that we had with it. We appreciate your time, so give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget about following us on social media. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.